Okay, so I'm somewhere near Kuzen Yamaguchi Station, and um, I think all the Japanese people are staying away from me because down here in the south, I guess they don't see many foreigners, but anyway. So I'm in this electronic store, okay? And now, I don't usually print or anything like that. I think printers are cumbersome, really, and uh, I don't see any real reason to print something. I can't remember the last time I really needed to print something. But I came inside this electronic store, and there is this amazing printer right here. It's this Epson, this Epson guy right here. And quite honestly, it's probably one of the coolest printers ever. Let's see if I turn this on and get this guy to work. Wow. This is absolutely fantastic. It's got all these, uh, you know, it's got the uh, your SD ports and all that jazz. But honestly, I was absolutely amazed. And when this thing comes out, too, what I found awesome is... Here's this guy. It comes out like this. And then pops right back in there. And crazy enough, you can actually print a DVD. Uh, like, on a DVD or a CD. So if you're trying to make a label for a DVD or a CD, you can print on that. I just think that was amazing. It's got this little touch screen and everything like that. And of course, it just looks all just glam. But I just found that actually amazing. And I really don't get excited about printers much. I don't know. Call me crazy. But not a lot of printing going on in my life. This part's actually kind of slow. I don't know what's going on with this guy. But, but this little CD thing like pops out like right here. I don't know. It takes a while. But anyway, I just thought that was absolutely amazing. Hold on, maybe it'll pop out. Come on, man, I believe in you. Oh, there it goes. So this little gray thing pops out, and I guess you pop the CD or the DVD in there, and then that's how you can do it. So that's really cool. This one's cool. It's like a, a scanner, but sort of in the shape of a magic wand, or perhaps even a sword. Back demons, or I'll scan your documents. Be careful. You don't want me to scan your documents. No. That's the weapons of the white collar class. Look at Japan. Also, all these crazy kind of technological innovations that like that somehow seamlessly incorporate style and lifestyle into your electronics. You know, this is the new wave of electronics now. To construct something that does something instrumental but you can't quite figure out what it is but it's so beautiful you can't turn away so like look at this I have no idea what this is I guess it's a scanner but it looks like a toaster you have no idea what that is or how you would use that or look at this this is I guess similar some sort of crazy scanner and here this one looks like a lunchbox or some sort of small refrigerating picnic box, but it's actually a printer. And here, probably the most convenient of all, really small, put in your little SD card and print out pictures. You see a whole host of these products, though, where, you know, as I said, it's not just instrumental use. They're, they've incorporated design and style in such a way that People almost don't care how well they function. Like this right here. This could be a piece of crap, but nobody knows because it just looks awesome. And they'll buy it. And if you don't have enough light at home, you can always buy the sun. And the sun comes in many different shapes and convex configurations. You see truly what's actually happening and what Apple figured out before uh, a few other companies did but are now starting to realize is that um, after people get past the functionality of technology, the thing that matters is design, the extras, the luxury, the gooey parts that fit into their lifestyle. You know, before man had uh, uh, harnessed agriculture, they were only interested in you know, how to get meat, the efficiency of hunting, things of that nature, now, 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 just making things basically instrumental. But as we became an agricultural society and were able to store food and we had more time and leisure, we got past all the sort of basic instrumental uh, ways of hunting and, and we had more time for design and marketplace and art 
and architecture. And so, you know, as technology reaches a point where it can do all of the things we want it to do, now we want it to do those things of course better, but we want it to do those we want it to do those things looking awesome and looking pretty and fitting into our life and our lifestyles and to make us feel good about ourselves. So technology is not just serving, especially now, it's not just serving a function, um, an instrumental function. It's serving some sort of psychological function to make us feel better about us, about our lives. And that's really kind of strange if you kind of think about it, but also interesting too. Okay, so now I've left uh, BB, I think it's called, uh, some sort of technology uh, electronic center. And I'm walking across the highway here, or along the highway rather, and I'm waiting for friends to pick me up at uh, he's in Yaguchi Station because, um, well, if, if anybody cares, uh, Thanksgiving passed uh, this past Thursday, and it's a really big holiday in the United States. And of course, maybe some of you are American, but uh, so out here in uh, Japan, they don't really celebrate it. And I was feeling really, really bummed about not being able to celebrate it because it's really one of my favorite holidays. Because it's not just the food; of course, the food is great. Uh, I try to help to cook, but um, but it's really it's about getting together with family and reliving memories and things like that. And it's just great. It's it's really an awesome time. And I was feeling pretty depressed about not having that. Um, but then my friends uh, in Saga, my American friends, they tipped me off that somebody they knew was having a Thanksgiving dinner thing, so I went ahead and wanted to participate in that, naturally. If I can have, if I can have Thanksgiving, I'd definitely love to have it. So that's what I'm about to do now. And hopefully they'll come soon because I'm starting to feel the pains of hunger and I'm feeling quite weary. But anyway. Yeah, so uh, that's it.